Okay, welcome back to Tales of uh, Fantasia. Um, interesting things are happening here. Uh, you may notice there's it looks very different, and there's a reason for that. The reason for that is that we are now playing the PlayStation 1 remake of this game rather than the GBA port that I was playing before. And the reason for that is uh, because I decided after... The last nine episodes have all been one recording, so... I, I recorded once, so this is technically my second time recording this game. Um, and I went and I looked up just to make sure like what I thought was true, which is that the GBA port is the one that has the thing that I... the things... the things... That I, w that I wanted, that, uh, that I thought it was the only version that had those. Um, turns out, I was wrong about that, and I, I mean, that's fair, because the last time I checked that, I think, was like, it, it was years ago, <laughs> when, I, when I first started playing this game. Um, since then, there have been, like, some PSP ports, and I assume the PS1 port uh, had been made. Of course, it's Japanese, it's a Japan exclusive, so... Um, the uh, English translation might not have existed at the time, which might have been what I was uh, basing that off of, but the PS1 port does have what I wanted out of it. It does, it actually does seem to be the best version of the game. Now, I had to replay the entire game up to this point, obviously. Um, and so, if you want to watch, like, this game, this version of the game is very different. You'll notice a lot of things as I start playing, uh, are are different. The translation, I think, is a lot better. There's extra cutscenes. There's these things called uh, skits. Like that. So we can do those now, which weren't in the GBA port, as far as I knew. <coughs> um, there's a difference in equipment here. We have a technical ring. Uh, which apparently enables the manual battle control option. I don't really like that. Um, that you have to use an accessory slot in order to have manual battle control. Uh, that seems kind of pointless and dumb. But it might be because the GBA port might not have actually let us play as the other characters. Might have been a thing, I never actually bothered to check. Um, but we also get this thing called the channeling ring, which I have no idea what it does. But we have a we have three of them, so I I don't know. We'll probably find out later um, what that is. But uh, anyways, without further wasting of time, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I do have some different arts, uh, sword rain. I have. I don't think I had that in the GBA port. I don't know if that's even in the GBA port. Um, I have achieved Mastery of Demon Fang, which is something I didn't have before. I still need to master Swallow Dance. Oh, it does have the... Uh, as you can see down in, in the bottom panel, it shows your Mastery Percent, which I think is super helpful. Uh, really appreciate that. And this one actually tells you what your Mastery of both. So, um, there's that. Uh, Mint has Deep Mist. Um, there's voice acting, which, uh, there was in the GBA port as well, but, um, in here it's Japanese and it's, it sounds a little better, it's a little easier to understand, and it looks a little nicer, uh, other than that. Basically, everything else I think is the same. I'm not sure if, uh, some of the, some of the placements on the world map are a little different. I was unable to, if you watch, uh, the recording I made of... Uh, at basically episodes 1 through 9 again, but on this PS1 version. If you watch that, uh, which I have, I have a link to it in the description, and I'm gonna leave that on, uh, unlisted, so that it doesn't sort of mess up my little order there, so that this is episode 10, and there isn't just this block of, three hour block of, like, I, I don't know, it's just for aesthetic, I guess, I, I don't know, I just don't want it there, um. So it's unlisted, and you can you can watch it through the link, um, but in the description. And uh, if you watch that, I was unable to find the Cavern of Spirits, which is supposed to be east of uh, Beldum or uh, Tol Toltis. I believe it's called Totis in this. Um, Beldum is the uh, is the vil is the village in the past. 
it's the same place. Um, but it's supposed to be east of there, and I was unable to find it. The dock there is in a different place. Everything else seems to be much in the same place, but that, I don't know where it is. And that's kind of weird. Um, so I haven't been able to go there. Um, and some of the monster, uh, the monster names are different. Obviously some of the names here are different. We have Kles now instead of Kress. Uh, the English, the Romanization, uh, officially in the GBA port, which is the only English version, official English version that we have. His name is Kress. So you can go either way, but these are their, their names in this version of the game. Um, Clarth instead of Klaus. Uh, you know, because um, there's no easy way. It's it's difficult to say because um, Japanese, they don't have an L sound. Uh, so their L sound is R. They, uh, or, no, sorry. So, I might have that backwards. No, I don't have that backwards. Um, so anyways, what, what ends up happening is they'll use like an R. So they'll use either Re or Re, Ra, Ra, Re, Ru, Re, Ro, one of those to replace, uh, they'll just use that in the Japanese. So when you go and you translate that to English, um, it's difficult sometimes to tell if, if they meant a, an L sound or an R sound. And I mean, it might make more sense with like Clarth, because his name is, is supposed to be Klaus, um, and in order to spell out the name Klaus in Japanese, so, it, you know, you, you can't really just go by the Japanese names, because sometimes the Japanese names are supposed to be Japanese versions of, like, German names or English names, and that's kind of the point. So, you know, mint. Mint is, a, is an English word, right? So, like, hers is easy to translate into what... It, her name is probably mi, min, Minto in Japan, they wouldn't just have a hard T sound at the end. Uh, they can do a hard N, that's one of the few uh, uh, syllables they can do is a hard N. Probably min Minto. Uh, Clarth is probably Krausu or something? Krarisu. Maybe, I don't know, I probably sound like a fucking dweeb. <laughs> just trying to trying to explain this, but um, that's why we get weird translations like this. It could either be Cress or it could either be or it could they could have meant Cress, but spelled it uh, since they used an R. The translation might have decided it was supposed to be an L, and Klaus could be the same thing. We're just gonna call them these names from now on, so everybody, I hope you're okay with that. It was a bit of a long-winded explanation that kind of took up a lot of time, and I'm sorry about that, but I felt like it was, it was necessary. Uh, but anyways, without further ado, I guess we can just continue. Um, so we're supposed to be here, looking for Sylph. I can check, let me verify that I got all the skits. Because this... Yeah, okay. So this works in a weird way. Uh, skits in the other, in the later Tales of Symphonia games sort of pop up. They give you a little prompt that says, like, it gives you the title of the skit and you press a button and then you can watch it. But it always gives you a prompt for when it's going to happen. Um, oh, also a lot of the building layouts are different. A word of precaution, the valley is full of hazards and other obstacles. I recommend you obtain a pickaxe and a rope to overcome them. You should find them in good supply. At the tool shop in Harmel. Um, uh, they pop up with like a little prompt and then you click it, and that's the only time you could really get that. Um, who do I want to give the Thieves Cape to? Uh, I feel like I'll give it to Klaus over the. He's not really doing anything at the moment. Um, but in this game, you just press the button, and you can press it to... Whenever something new happens, and you're... You know, the skits will usually update, and you'll get new skits. But you have to just check for them, really. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up the pickaxe. So we're exactly where we were in the GBA. So I have the pickaxe, I have the rope. We should be solid. Um, the only issue is I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, this is a little bit easier to control here. Um, 
keep it. I have never seen that enemy. Um, oh, also I get I get a little confused because when that thing shows up, yeah, I actually have control now, which is different than it was. Uh, because it usually just took control away from me until I exited out of the out of the thing. So now it just pops up and I have full control the whole time, which is a little weird, a little weird for me. Oh, and there's no longer a. Um, uh, I don't. I can't remember if in, in that version there was an item uh, count timer, which in the other Tales of Symphonia games it's like it gives you a little timer in which you can use items. You can't just use them one after another. So you're self. It it hurts. Oh, I guess we're just we're just we're just going straight into fighting self here. Two blue self, two red self. I'm gonna make Clark do this because he's. Um, probably shouldn't use that for all things. Um... Storm. Okay. <laughs> Might have to back up a little bit, because I'm too close to the screen. Swimmering alphas were the ones I had. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll do quick damage there. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that should be it for them. Well, <laughs> fuck that up. There we go. I just wanted to throw some swallow dances in there. Because I still need to master that one. My companions have been touched by the air of Daemonium. And one by one, their minds have been... Um... The air of Daemonium? Aha, so Miasma is what's hurting them. The sylphs are being hurt by your ass. <laughs> I thought it wasn't contagious. God damn it, close. Okay. <laughs> what is my asthma, Glarth? Could you explain? I'm ref referring to the putrid air of Daemonium, not lung disease. There must be some kind of dimensional distortion between this world and Daemonium, allowing it to leak here. Anyway, my asthma is toxic. Humans should be able to tolerate it for a short while, but spirits are far more sensitive. So it'd cause any spirit to go bad, not just the poor ones we just fought? Then we better block the holes responsible for this distortion thingy. Let's find them quick. Yeah. I feel like their characterizations are a lot better probably in this version. They have a lot more personality. Um, which is great. Um, this is obviously a, a fan translation, so this is not official. Um, which... Something I... Met, I, I, I looked up was the, probably the best version of this game that exists is uh, Tales of Symphonia. I keep wanting to say Symphonia. Don't take those whirlwinds lightly. They're dangerous. But if you walked into one, the least thing that could happen is you'd get a shredded into a fresh pile of man burger. Jeez, why, why is that? Why is something like that here? I'd say they're likely to be a product of the Spirit of Wind's madness. Um. Tales of Fantasia and the Kiri Dungeon X is probably the most up-to-date version. And that also includes a sort of uh, sequel to it, Nikiri Dungeon, but it also includes a the full remake of this game. So that would be the optimal version to have. Sadly, there's no fan translation of that yet. There is a, a sort of UI translation. Um, that translates the menus and nothing else, so I, I, that's no good for me. I don't want that. That does me no good. <laughs> um, sadly, if we, if we, if somebody would did do that, that would be the best version of this game to play, probably. Um, okay, yes, I see the problem. I see the problem. Um, it looks like I am missing a food item. Um, that's a little scary. It would have had to have been in the past, or in the future. Uh, I mean, strange. Um, anyways, we're gonna continue making hamburgers. 
Yeah, that didn't do as much as I would have liked. Shit. Okay, this is a weird puzzle. Okay. Found an apple gel, but I can't hold it anymore. I may as well just use one then. Um. I have been feeling like this version might be a little easier as well. Like, they might have rebalanced it. Um. Because it seems like I've been getting more money and more experience than I had before. Which is great. I've been able to get better weapons and stuff. Um, I don't know why exactly. I need to figure out what my actual arts are. Okay, I hate these enemies. <laughs> I don't like them. I, I hate the ones that are really small and low on the ground because they're hard to hit. You can only hit them with a the thrust, usually. How do I get to you? How do I get to them? I think I might have to come from behind. Maybe? There's two caves there. There's a bridge here. Sylph isn't here. Maybe she's hiding from the miasma. Okay, so that's where Sylph should be. We still need to find Arch here. That's our whole reason for being here, is to find Sylph, uh, so that Clouth, Clarth, can make a pact with her? I assume her. Um, and we also need to find Arch, who is apparently lost in this place. So there's Sylph. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay. I'm, I need to... I think that's where... Those little posts are where I can use the rope. I have more than enough fucking... I love that spell. I have no idea what it does, but... She uses it a lot, and then she says Deep Mist, though. Deep Mist! Stop! Clarth is pretty useless at this point, so I'm really the only one that can do damage uh, to these enemies at this point in time. I mean, other he can hit them with his book, but it's not very good, so... Uh, it's, a, it's a little concerning. I, I used all my TP, which is not something I should have done, but I, I did do that. Okay. I wonder if I only get... Okay, let's not go down there just yet. Uh, I think I have to. <laughs> Never mind. They are weak to lightning, so I can't use that. Also, you might notice the resolution of this is uh, far changed. Um, originally, I was just outputting them at 480p, which is, you know, the original resolution that it was displayed at anyways, um, which is something I probably should switch this to. I'm not sure if I can, um, because this is being just straight displayed in 4K right now. Um, obviously with the black bars on the side, so you will see those. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's much I can do about that unless I change maybe the display resolution straight in, um, straight from... <clears throat> it, it hurts. Please make it stop. Uh, from Retro Arch. 
Retro Arc? Is it Retro Arc or Retro Arch? Retro Arc. Oh, they apparently have a, um, uh, they have, uh, god, I'm sorry. They have the guard button maps now to an actual button, which is cool. So I have to press the button to guard. Which I didn't have to do before. Um, likely because there's only two buttons on a Game Boy Advance A and B. So that leads us back. Oh, but we can go up now. So, what's down here? Let's check that out. So this might lead us back to the beginning area. So we've got a kite shield. I'm pretty sure I already have a kite shield. Yeah, we have that. So that's worthless. That's flippin' worthless. Also, I believe they changed the uh, throttle on the second attack for some reason. I kind of have to mash it now to actually make it come out. Or else he just does one single attack, which sucks. Which blows. The timing on that is really, really close. So I have to press it, like, almost immediately after. Um, I don't see that there's a way to actually get to those. I might be shit out of luck there. Um, I might have to co go back there after I defeat the, um, uh, fix the miasma thing. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, she's got heal now. I guess that's just a slightly better, uh, yeah, slightly better first aid. Man, I'm a little worried about this area here. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't seem good. Probably weak to power hammer. Sadly, I do not have power hammer. I've kind of put myself in a corner here. Oh, uh, now I have poison. really doing stuff now. I'm gonna, try. I'm gonna try to get this on the hole before I cook another thing. Got it. Okay, let's see. There, it did get dispelled, thank god. Alright, some of these cure poison, like the quiche. I don't have class. Again. Let's see. I'm a little worried about actually going up there. Because I'm pretty sure I can't get to them. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not going to try. Or my asthma. The place matches all the descriptions I've heard about Daemonium. The miasma down here is thick enough to suggest the great demons from there have found a way up here. If we need any, just run away. It would be steamrolled in seconds if we tried to fight it. Ah, you mean like that? What should we do? It's simple. We'll try to forget these fiends by cutting off the source of the miasma. So it's interesting that we had a dialogue about that here instead of back there. First played against it. I should keep in mind I'm using a rapier right now. Uh, one of the interesting things that I- I don't know if I'm still- no, I'm not. I'm using a colic or a colicamarde. 
or whatever the hell, however the hell you pronounce that. 